From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Conme Report. A joint venture between Hencon, Altacrete and South African Mining and Smelting Solutions has led to the launch of a self-propelled, underground articulated, all-wheel drive, volumetric concrete mixing vehicle. Natasha Uddendahl has a story. The Hencon Altacrete was the outcome of the successful collaboration between Hencon and Altacrete to bring the mining industry a solution for high volume, on-demand mechanized batch mixing and the delivery of sprayed concrete for structural tunnel support. South African Mining and Smelting Solutions will be providing the full after-sales support and maintenance for the machine which is used for the application of the super strong minecrete. Today we're actually launching what we what really is the world's first is a, a batch mixing plant that we specially developed with uh, Altacrete, a company that specializes in all Crete products and has been in South Africa for many, many years. And they have basically moved on to a new generation uh, Crete that uh, it dries extremely quickly and therefore uh, there was a high need for mechanization. So three years ago we got together and we started planning and engineering and with all the effort of the, of the two companies, one, we as professional machine builders, they as professionals in the field of uh, concretes and cretes, uh, we managed to come up with what we have here today and we're very proud of that, the Altacrete. As the product is quick drying, it presented a challenge with the delivery of sprayed concrete for structural tunnel support. Uh, Altacrete was started in 1994. We've been in the industry for the last 27 years, specializing in high strength concretes, uh, we first started with a product called Tunnel Guard, which is a thin sprayed liner. Um, we've been doing that for a very, very long time. And uh, from that natural progression, we then decided to create a hybrid um, product, which we now call Minecrete, which is uh, a, a hybrid between Shotcrete and TSLs, with all the advantages of a TSL, as well as all the advantages of a Shotcrete. All right. One of the problems that we faced with the technology that we created is because the product is very fast setting, we weren't able to use traditional equipment which is used currently on your mechanized mines uh, with um, the bullet mixes or edgy cars. Um, unfortunately, because the product sets so quick, we'd be able to mix it, put it into that bullet mixer or edgy car, and by the time it got halfway down, it would be set and uh, that wasn't going to be ideal for the mine. So for us to be able to create a full turnkey solution, what we had to do was come up with a new equipment, which was the Altacrete. So what the idea behind the machine was, was to create a machine that could take all of the materials segregated from surface to underground. So when we say segregated, we mean different compartments on the actual machine, where we could put the aggregate separate, the cement separate, the fiber separate, as well as the water, with the machine being self-contained and not needing any services from the mine. So the machine could go underground and uh, arrive at the, the, the work site where the robotic sprayer or the uh, spray mac machine would be, and the machine could just reverse up to it and once this volumetric is mixer was set up and, and calibrated to give us the exact right amount of aggregate cement, water and fiber to ensure that the formulation was set properly. Once the machine is set, nobody can mess around with it. So we're going to be able to give you a consistent material from the machine to, to the application on the wall as a finished product. The plan is to start manufacturing the Hencon Altacrete in South Africa with preparations underway to extend existing facilities to incorporate the new machine. The machine was obviously manu manufactured abroad. Uh, everything is now being set up, all the construction modules, the engineering, uh, obviously the bill of materials that make up the machine. So basically we are now ready to manufacture the machine in South Africa. So we have got our manufacturing facilities for the different machines. So we do not really see much of a problem to extend those facilities to be able to manufacture these machines. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.